everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Today's recipe, I will show you how to cook fisherman soup. I am Rosie. Welcome to my kitchen. Ingredients, I will be using shrimps, clams, snails, sea snails, catfish, you can use any fish of your choice, cocoa yams, spinach, you can use any vegetables of your choice, pepper, onions, red palm oil, salt, season cube, all these are leaves, I have the dry one, you can use the fresh ones, Oziza seeds. I will start by blending the Oziza seeds. And that is done. I have the pepper, onions nicely cleaned already. I will transfer that inside a blender. Add a little bit of water. And I will blend into a smooth paste. When making fisherman soup, it is best to prep everything down before you start cooking the soup because once you start it goes very fast next i have the catfish nicely cut and clean i will add some hot water and the hot water is going to help the catfish to stay firm and not to break while cooking it i'll be leaving it in the hot water for about five minutes I will transfer it to the sink, rinse it up with cold water to stop the cooking process. Once that is done, I will season with salt, seasoned powder, blended onions and pepper. I will stir to combine everything together. And I'll be leaving the fish to marinate for some time before using it. I'll transfer it to the refrigerator to stay till I'm ready to use it. In an empty pot, I'll transfer the cookies. Add enough water to cook it. Cover and cook until they are tender. Here I have two limes. I will be using the limes to clean the snails and this will help take out the sliminess from the snails. You can also use lemons as well. I will wash the snails very well until they are nice and clean. Once I'm done washing, I will rinse it very well until all the lime taste is off. Next, in an empty pot, add the snails, sea snails, blended pepper and onions, season cube, salt, water, Cover and cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. So over here is the cocoa yam. The cocoa yam is be cooking now for a while. 
I will check. And this break line here is a sign that the cocoa yams are cooked. So I'll go ahead and take out the peels. And I'm going to be doing that off camera and I'll be right back. Once that is done, I will transfer it inside the blender and blend it smooth. You can also use a mortar to pound it as well. Next, I will scoop in the blended cocoa yam. Cocoa yam is the thickener. You can also use any thickener of your choice for this recipe. I will add some red palm oil. I will cover and cook until it is dissolved. It's been 10 minutes since I added the cocoa yam. I'll give it a gentle stir and at this point the cocoa yam is dissolved and I have achieved my desired consistency. I will add the catfish. the clams which is nicely clean add shrimps blended oziza seeds oziza leaves i'm using the dry one so i'm adding it at this point if you're using the fresh ones you can add it later then give it a gentle stir and the fish the shrimps they don't take time to cook they will cook about the same time I'm going to be cooking it on medium to low heat for about 15 to 20 minutes until the fish is cooked. Cover it. It's been 15 minutes since I added the fish. I will give it a gentle stir and check if the fish is ready. And at this point, this fish is cooked and everything is intact. The fish did not break and all the cocoa yam is nicely dissolved and i have achieved my desired consistency so now i will add in the vegetables you can add any other vegetable you're using and it doesn't need too much vegetables once the vegetables are in there i will turn off the stove the heat will cook the soup fisherman soup is also known as rivers native soup make it to your own consistency however cocoa yam soup thickens up when it cools down and this soup is ready it was very very delicious you can enjoy it with any swallow of your choice thank you all so much for watching remain blessed i will see you in my next video